Yo, hello, hello, welcome to the elephant in the room. My name is Aaron and this video is about the tray-free operating system Tromjaro. So after checking out the trade fee directory you might be like well Aaron there are some super cool organizations like Doctors Without Borders or Food Sharing and so on but you know I don't have access to what they provide since they don't operate in my tribe in my country. So to me the trade fee directory is kind of useless but I'd be like hold on because for one we kind of just started the trade fee directory it's pretty new and we keep adding stuff so it grows more and more. And second, there are already trade-free goods and services in the directory that you can use right here and right now and I want to show them to you. I want to make videos about them. So I guess the coolest trade-free goods and services that are out there and that you can basically use instantly are the ones who are digital. And I guess it's just because of its nature, because whenever something is digital you can just like share it, you can edit it, distribute it without basically any kind of effort. But now the problem is that many of those um, gadgets or devices which people use to access the internet are basically running with a proprietary operating system. So basically the most commonly used operating systems for computers are Windows from Microsoft and macOS from Apple and on the phone it is um, Android from Google and iOS from Apple and basically I also have an Android phone as you can see here and whenever I want to like delete uh, application like Google Maps I usually have to like um, pull it here and then it gets deinstalled but as you can see it doesn't work with Google Maps so I don't even have control over my phone because like Google <laughs> says to me it, or it doesn't allow me to deinstall Google Maps or also YouTube and other apps from Google. So you see you don't have control over these things um, and that's fucked up right because if you don't even have control over a device that you're using like what the fuck is going on and also um, these or most operating systems like macOS or Windows for the computer now are proprietary, meaning um, only the people who work for those companies have access to the source code. The source code is closed. And that means that they can do whatever they want to do. So basically they can inject trackers which collect data about you. For example, when you open an application and for how long are you using it and when are you closing it. So basically they can track whatever you do on your computer. And actually that's what's happening right now with Windows and with macOS and I'm going to link some um, articles about this but basically you can also just search in any search engine like Windows collecting data and macOS collecting data. So yeah as you can see they want something from you. They want your data, they maybe want your currency because you know that's how the game of trade just works. But then what's the alternative? And for these cases we created the trade fee directory where we um, showcase these alternatives. So basically we just want to search now for an operating system and as a search result we get different operating systems like in the case for personal computers for like laptops or tablets we get um, Tromjaro or Trails OS or Cubes OS but then there are also mobile operating systems like Graphene OS, Ubuntu Touch or Lineage OS. And in today's video I want to showcase you Tromjaro which is an operating system that is based on Manjaro Linux and just also basically a project of ours like of the Trom project. So when we click on the official website we get to this page and now I just want to showcase you a little bit um, the website and then I want to show you how you can install Tromjaro on your own computer. 
So to tell you a little bit about it, what we did, and I say we now, but basically um, Theo, the human being who wrote the book The Origin of Most Problems, um, also created this operating system. So what he did was he took um, the operating system from Manjaro. So there's basically a Manjaro community, a Manjaro team who is programming the operating system Manjaro. But what they also do is um, they install some packages that are not completely trade free. Maybe things like Steam or FreeOffice or Microsoft Office, um, things like that. So we decided let's take this operating system, since it is open source, we can just take the source code, fork it, create something new out of it. And that's what we did, that's what Theo did. So what we did with Manjaro was that we deleted or deinstalled some trade-based packages, some trade-based applications, and we installed some useful, nice uh, trade-free applications. We also um, changed the design a little bit, like we added some beautiful wallpapers, just a kind of nice um, design feature, so people can choose from those wallpapers. We also have our own style, kind of our own design with those flat, washed out and custom made icons for thousands of applications. Actually, we are designing most of them by ourselves. But you can also let Tromjaro look like however you want it to look like. Like, <laughs> funny thing is, you can even let it look like uh, Mac OS or Windows even if you really love that style. Um, as you can see here, it also can look like Mac OS if you really want to have that. So it is extremely customizable. And then what else have we got here? Yeah, it is super easy, super simple. Like, as you can see, I also have Tromjaro, of course. Um, here you can see some notifications, a calendar, um, also the time, of course, the date. Then here is a kind of, um, yeah, how can I say, settings uh, menu, where you can select the Wi-Fi, the um, Bluetooth and so on. Here are settings and tweaks and so on. Then we have here the um, apps, like your favorites are um, in that bar and you can add them, of course. You can also remove them from here. And then you have the dash to dock, um, which is in the lower left corner and there are your applications. Um, like basically that you can access in a menu. And the cool thing is whenever you want to open an application, like on my keyboard now, I just press the CMD um, key and then I can like search for, um, let's say SM player because that's like a video player and I can just open it um, without even having to use the mouse because I can just open it with the keyboard. Then we added some default applications, trade free of course, um, that you can use to basically open any kind of file that you want to, like any kind of image file, any kind of video or audio file, any kind of document or torrents. Um, of course, I guess the like how is it called the um, pages from Apple like from Mac OS they also have a kind of um, word but it's called pages and I don't know if those documents will open on Tromjaro but you can um, open docx documents which is from Windows basically a format um, and then we also have Firefox as the default browser and we added some really amazing stuff to it like Sci-Hub now that means you can unlock and open basically any kind of scientific article who is locked behind the paywall and we have the Wayback Machine um, so it detects dead pages and um, yeah you can just basically go back in time with that thing. We added the privacy badger and uBlock origin to kind of um, remove trackers and ads on websites. Um, we also have privacy redirect, which can redirect you um, from Google Maps to OpenStreetMap, or which can redirect from um, 
Instagram to Bibliogram or also from YouTube to Invideos. So there are trade free front ends for those applications or for those websites. So you can use them without trading your data, for example, or your attention. Also video download helper and other useful stuff. You can also just check it out on the website. Then we added some useful applications to do whatever you want to do. Like you can record yourself, your thoughts, your screen and your voice. Then you can share stuff with a um, trade-free application called SyncThing, the one we added in the trade-free directory. Um, you can communicate in a trade-free manner with Qtox. You can explore other planets with Marble, this trade-free application called Marble. And we even have a trade-free application called Bitmask that you can use in order to um, use a VPN, a virtual private network. But that's the default, like these are the applications that come in hand with Tromjaro, like whenever you install it. And then you have access to like so many other trade-free applications that you can just access um, whenever you click here. I'm just gonna check it out now to show it to you um, how it looks like and then also how you can install applications because we made it so cool and I will show you. So we have different um, categories. Basically, let's start from the top. You can search for whatever application you want to search for. So for example, like video player, and then it will show you different video players. Um, you can also search for video editor, for example, and then you will see different video editors, like super cool. And that's how you can search for any kind of um, program that you might need. Then we have here some featured apps, but then here are our categories where they are sorted in different categories like edit and create, um, then organize and communicate, stream and record, we have browse and explore, share and decentralize, play and enjoy, learn and educate, privacy and utility, then we have customize and personalize and we have other applications here. So super cool. And whenever you um, want to submit an app, you can also click here and submit some new applications whenever you know a super cool one and also one which is trade free. And now let's just install a trade free application and I'm just gonna take the first one right here. Basically every day we add one application. So, um, that's the one which has been added today and the cool thing is now like here you can see how it looks like um, basically as you can see it's a calculator um, here is a short description about it here is the link to the official website and here we have some similar apps um, and then we can also like you can say okay this app is super cool or also this app is not super cool Basically, you can just review it and uh, leave a statement. If it was useful, if there was a bug or so, you can just um, use this form right here. And now if you want to install it, it is as simple as clicking here, install. Now it automatically opens the software center from the website. I just click here, confirm. I punch in my password and it gets installed. I mean, how easy is that? It's just, yeah, as simple as clicking, confirming, punching in the password and that's it. Better than like, how is it in Windows? If I think back um, to my parents' computers, I needed to like search for it in the internet. Then I needed to find a proper source because maybe there is a website which installs you some malware. And then I needed to like confirm and click here and enter and yes, and <laughs> it is just so complicated. However, here it is so easy. I mean, it's just installed and that's it. And um, yeah, basically I can now search for, how is it called? Pebbles and I can open it and I can just use it. It is so simple, so easy and just that's what i love with tromjaro and the fact that it's trade free is just 
yeah i mean that's how it should be right it should be pure it should be clean it should not come with any kind of bullshit like data collection or with ads or so like i remember when i was reading a book on a book viewer on my parents computer on a windows computer then there was a pop-up coming up like i don't know every two minutes or so saying i need to buy a premium a pro version of it that i won't get these pop-ups anymore or that i can also put it on full screen mode and i was just like what the fuck that is so ridiculous i mean let me just fucking read a book okay let, leave me alone like <laughs> And you don't have this kind of bullshit with uh, Tromjaro or basically with Linux in general. Well, well, I think it depends. Um, but with Tromjaro, you make sure you like don't have to deal with any kind of uh, bullshit. So, and whenever I want to deinstall this um, applications, I just go to software center. Um, of course, this is now in German, um, but um, basically I think you can follow me I just um, type in the application the name of the application I just click um, remove I click then confirm I also click confirm here punch in the password and that's it it is removed already and it's gone like and <laughs> how simple how easy was that I mean I'm also as you can see I'm so excited about from Jaro because it's so cool it's the shit and I'm using it every day I'm using it for how long now I think more than one year already and I just um, I just love it I, I don't want to have any other kind of operating system so um, yeah, what I also want to show is that you can translate the Tromjaro website. I'm doing that into German. So I just want to show you how it works. Basically it works the same like the trade free website or also the trade free directory. You just um, go to the bottom again, click that little box and then you can see these boxes and you can just um, translate it into your language. When you click here, confirm, then you can see the box is green. So um, that's it. And that's how you can basically translate the whole website. And also make sure, because for example, there's also this um, kind of description and you can only reach it if you click here. And then I also just click enter here and you can see the translation is done. Um, or you can also, I think you can access it whenever you go like <laughs> to the left from here and then you also reach the, this text. But that's just a little, little kind of thing. Let's go back to the main website. So now that you might want to check it out, I want to show it to you how you can um, install it basically. So if you want to install it, if you want to give it a shot and check it out, you can click to the install page and basically you have to flash it onto a USB because then you have to plug the USB into your computer and then you have to boot from that USB. So you can test from Jaro in the live mode and then you can also install it from there onto your computer. But what I have to say first, before you even consider installing a new operating system, be it from Jaro or any other kind of operating system, make a backup. Make a backup of all your files. Make a backup of your videos, images, documents, whatever. Just make a backup and store it on another hard drive or on a USB if, it's, if that suits you or just make a backup. <laughs> That's the most important. Because in case if shit hits the fan, you will be so happy that you made a backup. So to download it, there are different um, like sources, different mirrors. You can just use whatever you want to, whatever you like to. Then in order to flash it onto a USB, you need a program, a certain application. In the case of Linux, we recommend ImageWriter. In the case of Windows, we recommend Ventoy. And in the case of macOS for Apple, we recommend Edgeon. And then basically all you have to do 
is you have to flash it onto the USB. Then you turn your computer off and then you plug the USB in and then you have to turn your computer on and then select boot from the USB from Chomjaro. So what I forgot to say yesterday was that in order to boot into Chomjaro you need to select that from a menu called BIOS and you can only reach or access that BIOS menu if you press a certain key when the computer is starting. So let's say your computer is turned off then you plug in the USB with the Tromjaro on it but then in order to access the BIOS menu you need to press a key for example in the case of many Windows computers the F2 key and also for different models there are different key combinations or different keys that you have to press in order to reach that BIOS. Maybe some um, Windows computer have also this thing called um, safe mode enabled or safety boot or so. So you, that means it only will start into Windows. So what you have to do then is to um, de-able or disable that um, safe boot so that it can also boot from the USB. And also for um, Mac OS you need to press I think the Alt key. So that's, that was the case in, uh, for my MacBook, but you can also just search for it online and you will find plenty of articles which describe how you can access the BIOS menu. And from there you can then say, okay, I want to boot into Tromjaro and you will reach the menu where you can start with Tromjaro. Um, I want to show that to you now how it looks like. I'm going to use a virtual machine. So let's say the computer is turned off, but I plugged in the USB and now I'm turning it on. So I can now um, choose the, um, from this menu which kind of key table I want, which kind of language I want, and if I want to boot with open source drivers or with proprietary drivers. Like I think you need the second option in case you have a NVIDIA graphics card or so. Um, but I'm just now going to boot with uh, open source drivers. So I just press enter. So when Tromjaro has booted it looks like this. And what you have to do now is to make sure that everything works. You have to test everything. And what I mean by that I mean the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the keyboard, the touchpad. I mean the speaker, the microphone, just everything, the webcam. So um, just to make sure that everything works, um, that's crucial. Because you know, if you have like a MacBook from let's say last year or so, I know there's a touch bar kind of, and probably Tromjaro or any kind of Linux operating system will not be able to detect that, those because of course only Apple probably knows how to detect um, these things. And um, yeah, Linux is not programming for MacBooks or for Apple, but for the whole world. So that's just a little thing. So what you do is you just connect to um, the Wi-Fi. You also test um, the Bluetooth connected. Um, you can play around in the settings just to get a feeling um, how it looks like, um, how it feels like and um, if you like it or not. You can also check out the tweaks. Um, probably here you just have to pull it a bit bigger and there you can change the appearance. You can customize it by yourself. Um, it's just, um, yeah. It's just amazing. <laughs> so um, also test the browser, of course. Um, that's how Firefox looks like from the default um, from a Trumjaro installation, as you can see here. And of course, I just want to say that this virtual machine is now slowing Trumjaro down a lot because, you know, I'm using my MacBook from 2012 and um, it only has four gigabyte of RAM. So um, of course that means that from Jaro in the virtual machine won't work pretty fast. Um, but yeah, then you can also check, just search for something like we also have a default search engine called um, Cirques. We have our own Cirques instance. 
So that means you're just also not trading anything whenever you search something. You know, of course, Google collects all your search history, everything what you do online. But um, we don't do that and Search is a wonderful search engine. You can also check for um, scientific articles. But maybe I do another video about um, Search and search engines in general. I just wanted to uh, mention it. Um, and yeah, that's how the files look like. And then you can also check out the applications that are installed um, by default. If you just go on the dash to dock menu and check out any kind of application. And then, and only then, if you checked everything, if you checked the microphone, the webcam, the keyboard, the touchpad, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth and everything, then um, you can go to install from Jaro. So what you do is you click here and then you get redirected to the installation program. What you do then is just select your language. I'm now going to select English so that you can also understand it. Now you need a time zone. I'm just now going to select um, Berlin and then I need the keyboard so now there are different keyboard models so I'm going to go on German and then Macintosh and then I can also select it even here I think if I go on MacBook MacBook Pro after that I need to select the um, partitioning like the partitions so basically there's this option of having both um, operating systems like your default operating system like Windows or Mac OS and then also have Tromjaro next to it. And I also had that at one point I had Mac OS and Ubuntu when I started it and that also worked out pretty well. But you know usually I would recommend to not do it because things can get messed up. So I would rather say just install from Jaro full and um, that's it basically. You also don't need the other operating systems. Well, except of course maybe for work or for university or so. Maybe there's only a certain program available in Windows or Mac OS. I know it can be tricky, but I'm just saying. I would recommend to install from Jaro as the only operating system. So what I'm going to choose now is to erase the disk. That means that basically everything from my laptop gets cleaned out, it, everything gets cleared and then it will um, install from Jaro as the default um, operating system and I won't have any Mac OS or any Windows anymore. And here I have to select if I want to have a swap or no swap. And if I want to have a swap, I have to choose it with Hibernate or without. And I have on my installation, I have swap with Hibernation. Basically that means um, from what I understand, I'm not a programmer or a computer expert, but basically I have four gigabyte of RAM memory. And now the swap memory can be used as a as a second option kind of. So whenever my RAM memory is full, this swap memory can be used in order for the, pro, for the computer to um, use it and to um, work properly. Because if I have no swap and my RAM memory is used with 100%, then the computer can be uh, frozen and um, yeah, just be slowed down. So um, I'd recommend Swap and then also with hibernation because that means it can go into hibernation mode. But you know that is also explained very well in an article. I will link to it in the description of this video. And here everything gets explained in detail also with that Swap thing and also with the hibernation um, thing. So I recommend you to check out that article. Um, let's continue now that I have this option set to erase the disk and I selected swap with hibernate I'm just gonna click next then I need to um, type in like my name computer name I'm just gonna say Aaron PC 
I'm gonna need a password. Of course, this is now just a test to showcase to you. I can also select here to log in automatically without asking for the password and I can use the same password for the admin account. So I'm just gonna tick that and I click on next. Now there's a summary of everything that is being done and eventually I can click on install and it gets installed. So now I just want to say it again, before you consider installing Tromjaro on your own computer, make a backup of all your files so in case shit hits the fan, nothing gets lost. But now let's go back to the website. So there's a small about page where you can read a bit more about Tromjaro and the idea behind Tromjaro and all that. Then we have a releases page, basically where you can see all the releases um, that we have done so far. So basically what we are also saying is um, we keep track with the updates from Manjaro, of course, because Tromjaro is just a fork from Manjaro, kind of a spin-off. And um, of course, whenever Manjaro gets updated, these updates also get pushed to Tromjaro. So you can also um, just like follow those updates. And we are just saying what we, what we tweaked, what we changed a little bit, um, everything here. And then the next point is um, the apps. Of course, we checked it out already. But then we also have some nice articles about Tromjaro. So there we explain, for example, how you can share files in a trade-free way, how you can communicate in a trade-free way, which applications you can use. Uh, we explain the difference between Tromjaro and Windows and how they look like, how they work in the default installation and compare them, of course. Then we explained um, an update from the GNOME, which is basically the desktop environment. That's basically how it looks like. There are also other desktop environments like XFCE, I think, and KDE is another desktop environment. But we are only providing uh, GNOME so far because, yeah, that's the default for Tromjaro for now. We don't have the resources to also like um, create or like ship from Jaro with these other um, desktop environments. But I think if you're a programmer, if you know what you're doing, then you can also um, install another desktop environment with from Jaro. Um, and then we also have some nice videos that you can check out, um, like some videos about from Jaro, what it means. Also an article how you can translate from Jaro. And even how can you make from Jaro uh, look like Windows, 10 or Windows XP or Windows 95. So whenever you want to have that, you can check it out on the articles page. Then there's also a support page um, where basically we explain how you can um, get support whenever you need help. So basically there is um, help for the apps underneath every app. As I explained, there is this little form. Then if you uh, want to report bugs with Tromjaro or its default applications, you can use the GitLab page. And then you can, if you need direct help, you can use our chat. Like usually there's always somebody around which can help you whenever you need help right now. Um, just click on the chat window. Then there is also the feedback page. Basically, there are people who installed Tromjaro and they wanted to leave a feedback, like Vicky, for example, um, who installed Tromjaro. Also Rafa, who is translating uh, Trom materials into Spanish. Another um, review of feedback by, what's his name? Matt Dillon. Then also Sasha, there was even another organization, openos.at, um, who contacted us. And um, yeah, they also have Tromjaro now on their website because they recommend like um, open source operating systems and um, just explain it to people. And then the last point is the notifications. Like you can also get an update whenever there's a new release, either by email or RSS feed. 
And just the last, the very last thing is the donate page. Basically, if you feel like, if you think Tromjaro is a cool operating system, uh, I want to support it, you can also do so financially if you just click on that uh, donate link. So I think that was the video about Tromjaro. Maybe it was interesting for you, maybe you learned a thing or two. You know, you can also just check it out on tromjaro.com. You can also give it a shot, flash it on a USB and try it out yourself in the live mode and then also install it if you want. You can also share it with your friends or family. It is just trade free. It is pure and clean with no bullshit attached to it. And that's what I love about Tromjaro. And then I remember some people saying, well, Linux is so complicated, you need to use the terminal, it is so difficult. But I think, as you can see, it is not. It is so minimalistic, so simple, easy to navigate through. And like installing an application is as simple as going onto the apps page of Tromjaro, clicking on any app, click install, confirm and punch in the password and that's it. And I mean, where in the world is that tricky? I mean, you cannot make it easier. or <laughs> So um, yeah, it's just a, a great, great thing. It is also secure. You don't need to worry about any kind of anti-spam like program or so. Yeah, it's just like, it, it's great. <laughs> and that's what it is. And it's like, yeah, you cannot say it better. It is just fucking great. <laughs> and yeah, so that was the video from today. I'm just gonna say, as always, I look forward to the next video. Probably I will make the next video about Friendica, which is an like alternative to Facebook, like an alternative social network. Also trade free, of course. So I'm just gonna say take care, see you in the next video and much love.